nasty bag of dead fish now. There's a live crawfish in here. Beautiful little crawfish right here. Oh, I see some plants in here. Oh, that is beautiful. There's live perishable bubble boxes everywhere. Big albino frog. Oh my God. Yo, this thing is huge. This might be the most profitable dumpster dive I've ever done. Welcome back to Rob Squash, guys. In today's video, we're going to be dumpster diving yet again in this pet store dumpster. In the past, we found some that hold some crazy stuff like aquarium fish, live animals, things of that nature. So we're back out here again to try to see if we could find a dumpster with some live animals in it so we could save and rescue them and add them into our fish room and backyard ponds to potentially depending on what we actually find in here. Now, I've been going all over South Florida today. That's why it's late at night. It's like 12 in the morning because it's taken me forever to find any dumpster with even a potential chance of holding something so you see i'm already kitted up i've got my waders on the gopro on my head and my favorite flashlight in my hand so we're ready to jump into this dumpster off the top i was able to see some fish equipment but we're going to jump in and see what else we could find in this dumpster so we're going to come over here i got this super bright flashlight ready to just beam into here so as you can see there is a lot of big equipment in here and you can see some other animal stuff it looks like they might have just got in a fresh shipment of stuff. We haven't even, oh, oh, nah. I was just about to say, they just got a fresh shipment of fish in, and already there's some dead fish right here that I could see. Oh, God, but look, see? They added fish into the shop today. They busted the bags open, as you can see by this one right here, but in this bag right here, I don't know why they wouldn't have included it, but we've got this nasty bag of dead fish now. It looks like these were probably rainbow fish. I'm not too sure why they didn't make the cut, why they weren't added into a tank. I really don't know, but we're going to leave this in the dumpster. I have no business keeping dead fish for the time being. We'll just throw it to the side. Disgusting, you hate to see. But with that out of the way, we're gonna keep peeling through this dumps. Oh, oh, oh my God. Look, there's a live crawfish in here. There's some poop in the bag, so I think he's been in here for a little bit. But look at that. That lobster is looking insane. We got a super colorful little crawfish right here. So I'm going to grab my bucket, and we're going to get this little guy into our keeper bucket real quick. I don't have much water, actually. So we might keep him in the bag just for a short while until maybe we find some more stuff so he has enough water to sit in. But that is the first find of today, guys. A beautiful little crawfish right here. He's looking incredible. For the time being, I'll grab my bucket. Why do I feel shorter with the waders on? Like I feel shorter, it's weird. But we're gonna get him in this little bucket right here. Just for the time being, we're gonna take him out in just a second. But now we're gonna jump back in the dumpster and there's this big box right here. So, I don't, there's like packing potatoes in here. Wet paper towel, what is this? Oh, I see some plants in here. Hold on guys, let's take this out. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what? There's live plants in this box. Oh my God, they look so good. Low key, they're low key feeling kind of dry. Oh God, I should have brought so much more water. But I'm gonna try to pick this up and see what's in here. I see a lot of green, so I'm kind of optimistic to see what this is. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Oh, that is beautiful. These pieces of drifts would look crazy and they've got some live plants on them. They're super dry. So we might even need to stop by a canal, guys, to get some more water because I might even need to fill up a cooler just to keep these plants alive and this drift would soak. <laughs> I don't know. I've never found live plants in the dumpster before. They look really good though. Like it's been raining today. So maybe they were able to stay dry enough, but the rain stopped a few hours ago. So we're going to get these plants back in the box. Um, get that wet piece of paper towel back over them. And I'm going to definitely have to find a cooler or something to get those in because otherwise they're not going to survive. But that's a pretty cool find. Let's keep jumping into the dumpster and see what we get. Oh my God. Oh, it just keeps giving. Look, there's so many big pumps down here. What is this? This is still in the packaging. Okay, I have no idea what this is. If you guys know, comment it down below. Whatever it is, it's massive. It's, I see it's got like a little metal bolt down here, but we're gonna put this to the side for the time being. Everything we get out of the dumpster, we're probably just gonna take out. Is there anything else in this box? So I do see another bag that they opened and added some fish into the store with, and there's a little plastic tub thing. Now this looks like it would be something for saltwater aquariums, but I'm not entirely too sure. If you guys know what this is, let me know. We're just gonna take it out because it looks like it's in pretty good condition, and we haven't even gotten in the dumpster yet so i might as well just hop right in although there's there's some big stuff in here i don't know how i'm gonna do this but we're gonna have to jump oh i see another there's more stuff right here look 
There's a bag right down here. Oh, I gotta get in. But to get in, I gotta clear out some of this stuff. Right off the top, look, there's a tank right here. That tank looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, that tank looks pretty good. So I'm gonna try to get in here and grab this fish tank. <laughs> Oh, that was dangerous. <laughs> There's a beautiful low iron fish tank, it seems like. I don't know how many gallons this is. This is very, very small, but it could be a cool little betta fish tank. Maybe we'll go to the betta fish location and try to see if we could catch some. The, I don't know what else we would do with this. Maybe even pea puffers. I do know another spot where we could catch those. So I guess we'll just throw it on the box right here. Just for safety, dude, <laughs> what is this fish store is just throwing away supplies, it seems like. And some fish. We'll jump in now, because I think I'll be safe to jump in. There's not a lot of stuff blocking me. Yeah. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever Spider-Man can. Oh, another fish bag just fell. Oh, dude. Look at that. There's a tiger shell nose, or it seems like some big predatory catfish in this bag. The water, it seems like there's a lot of dookie in there. Might have not made it in the fish shipment. They might have smashed and not wanted him. But he looks pretty good, actually. So we do have a little monster fish grow out tank that we could throw him in. Camera girl, can you please get him in the bucket? So she's gonna get him in the bucket right now. <laughs> it's kind of looking a little crazy. We've got a fish tank live plants, and some fish equipment. Unfortunately, those guys didn't make it. But we're going to keep sorting through this pet store dumpster to see what we could find. We got some big boxes right here. I'm just gonna start trying to move some stuff out of the way so we could see what this equipment is. Oh yeah, they definitely got in a shipment of fish. There's live perishable bubble boxes everywhere. So this one says live harmless reptiles, but we've got another big piece of equipment right here. I'm not too sure what this could be used for. Here, camera girl, take this please. And these next items look like they low key might be a little too big for you to move on your own. I don't know, we could pass you something and see how you do with it. Oh, this is, this is, <laughs> this is huge. This is a huge air pump, I think. It's so heavy. Do you think you got this? You want to hold the camera while I do it? Yeah, I could do that. Well, yeah, there you go. No, How's, how does that feel? Is that heavy? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. That is a huge something or other. I feel like that could be a massive air pump. I'm not really too sure, but this dumpster is just loaded with fish tank stuff. So I'm going to keep sorting through this. Oh, there's another bag. Please be alive. Oh, what the hell? Look at him. He looks so silly. There's a big albino frog in the dumpster. Look at him. Dude, what in the world? He looks so funny. Can you get this in the bucket for me, please? He's looking pretty alive. He's very active. These guys, I think, do better in cooler weather. So he's probably A-OK. -okay. We're going to have camera girl get him in the bucket real quick and we're going to be unboxing everything at the end of the video we're just going to try to get everything out before i take them out of the bag just because it'll be easier that way and this box right here this thing i might actually need to get out oh this is a big part of something could this be part of that pump i don't know we'll keep this as well i'll just set it to the side or i won't <laughs> Here you go. Oh yeah, that's part of the little pump right there. So we might be able to fix that. But this next thing right here. Oh my God, it's a huge pond pump. <laughs> what in the world is this? Oh my God. Yo, <laughs> this thing is massive. What is this? How many gallons per hour is this? This must be what they were using to run the fish store. How many gallons per hour does it say? It says it's I don't even know, but this is a huge fish pump. What the what? This is insane. All right, I'm gonna have to get out in, out of the dumpster to get this on the thing. It might be too heavy for camera girl to carry. And we're not trying to let her get herself hurt. So get a little athletic, crush my nuts a little bit. Can you hold this in place for me, please? Cause I need both hands to get out. Oh my God. This thing is huge. We're gonna just set it down right here. This is a massive, massive pond pump. I don't, I don't know what the hell is going on. And it seems like this is a pond pump. It's missing this little lever right here. But yeah, yeah, this looks like this is where it goes. Maybe tonight we'll put everything in the, the house and just see if it works. Honestly, all this equipment looks like it would probably be fine. But we're gonna jump back in the dumpster real quick. Oh God, this has been a day. All right, back in the dumpster we go. 
I'm always so sketched out by jumping in the dumpster like that. I don't want to risk crushing any animals. But we're gonna get this to the side. Oh, there's a lot more pumps and stuff. We got some smaller ones right here, like this little guy. And you. And it seems like we got another big thing right here. Yeah. So we got another pump, it seems like. Actually, no, this is not a pump. It's all in French or Spanish or something. I don't really know what language this is, but it looks like a big like control panel or something. This might be the most profitable dumpster dive I've ever done. <laughs> like, no cap. We'll just get that down there to you, camera girl. But it looks like we got some more, ew. Ew, there's like a bunch of donut. There's a bunch of donuts. Huh. Oh, that didn't, oh, there's another fish bag. Oh, would you look at that? There's a little crawfish in here. Oh, he's looking crazy. He's got a lot of nice blues on him. He's looking pretty good. So I guess we'll get him in the bucket as well. Very pretty little crawfish. <laughs> and we got two more pumps right here. And I'm, I'm curious to see if all these work. I don't know if I have the stuff to run them today, but we got two more big old pumps right there. You got them, camera girl? Yeah. And we'll keep looking through this mess. I see a lot of ants. I see a lot of bugs. It's pretty, pretty gross. But the dumpster isn't too full. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> this is a huge piece of equipment. Now, I'm gonna need your help yet again. Camera girl's getting a workout in today's video, no cap. Oh, <laughs> good, you got it? Yep. There we go. She's, isn't she the best guys? Comment W camera girl in the comments down below. But we're making a killing out here. We bought so much equipment, so many cool little rare aquarium fish, and we got a fish tank and some live plants. So honestly, overall, it's been a really good day. We're gonna keep looking through here. Ew. <laughs> so gross. We got another big box. Anything hiding in it? Oh, there's a fish bag back here. Oh, nice. It's another beautiful, beautiful crawfish. So we'll get him in the bucket real quick. He's looking gorgeous. Oh, just like that. And we got like one more corner. There wasn't all that much in this dumpster. It's nothing hiding in that box. We got this big box right here. Oh, some more dog food. Do you have a... You don't have, she doesn't have a puppy yet. She's planning on getting one though. So, also, I think all the food that we see in the dumpster, guys, are recalls. There's a lot of, oh, <laughs> there's a, oh, he's chilling with the ant. There's so much food back here. I guess this pet store shares a dumpster with Duncan because there's a lot of Duncan products. But we got another beautiful, oh, these ones have more than one color. This guy's like red and white. He looks incredible. So, we got another crawfish out of this dumpster, guys. He's looking really, really good. Here you are, dear. And we'll get him added into that dumps or that bucket right there. So it's looking like we've almost gone through this entire dumpster. Oh, look, guys, a pair of gloves for me. <laughs> it's looking like that's everything out of the dumpster. I'm not seeing any more fish. I'm not seeing any more equipment. I think we did get it all. They definitely got a new shipment in because they got a live harmless reptiles box right there. And so we're gonna check out everything we just pulled out of the dumpster. Maybe bring it back to the fish room and see if it all worked. Definitely get those plants and those fish on some water. And <laughs> we'll add it to the tanks, whatever we can. Jump out, graceful ascent. Yeah. Ooh. All right, so it's looking like we got a huge pond pump right here. Huge, huge, huge air compressor. Some saltwater equipment for reef tanks. A couple more little pumps. Nothing too crazy as far as pumps go. This one is, I don't know how many gallons per hour, but it's a nice pump. It's an Eheim pump. And we got this pump right here. This one's also a super, super nice pump. Pretty cool. I don't know why none of them say the gallons per hour. I really would like to know. But if we do set up a pond in the future, guys, we could definitely make use of these pumps. And let's look at the fish. Oh yeah, and how can I forget? A beautiful little glass tank right here and some live plants on the driftwood. We're shut into the dumpster, but we got our bucket right here. We probably got enough water in here for the fish. So we're gonna get everything back to the house. We're actually relatively close. So I'll get everything back to the house and we'll unbox it there. If anything's looking too sketchy, I'll get it out sooner, but we might even pull up to a canal and get some fresh water for these guys for the time being. Cause I'm, it might be better than just trying to let them thug it out in the bag for a few, for a little bit more. But we're gonna get the car packed up with all this stuff and head back to the fish room. So now we're back in the fish room, guys, and I actually did end up selling all the cichlids that were in this tank. I'm gonna give you guys a full update on the fish room, probably in the next video, because now we have all that equipment I need to test out, 
and we're also going to be trying to get that big old 300 gallon tank set up soon. I've been trying to get the Avengers assembled so we could move it. We need at least five people to move that thing around the house and onto the stand. The stand's already built, but now we're here in the fish room with all the stuff we got out of the dumpster, all the stuff that needs to be in a tank at least. So we got this big old dwarf frog albino looking guy that we're gonna get into the tank right here. I'm gonna end up putting him with the crawfish just for the time being, because I don't actually know where I wanna put him. I'm pretty sure if I put him in my platy pond, he'd either escape or eat the platies. I'm pretty sure they will eat platies, so I really don't want to get him added in there, but we're gonna try to get this silly funky little dude into the tank. I'm just gonna pick him up. And I actually have some really exciting news for you guys, so. But before I tell you about that, we're gonna get him added into this tank right here. There you go, little buddy. <laughs> Dude, they got such a weird butt on them. Like, it's almost like they want to have a tail, but they don't have one. He's pretty funny, though. <laughs> Just scoot around. But we also have these four crawfish we got out of the dumpster right here. They're all still looking pretty good. We got a mixed bag, a couple different colors. So we're gonna get all these guys added in, but I also wanted to let you guys know that Rod from Predatory Fins actually hit me up today and invited me to do a boxing event in August, August 17th. I don't know if they were Released it yet? We got the first crawfish getting added into the tank. I think he'll get along fine with the frog. He's probably quick enough to escape from him. But Rod hit me up and asked me if I wanted to do a boxing event. And so I'm like, might as well. I'm like, I have family up in New York I haven't seen since I moved down to Florida. So it'd be a good time, good time to do it. And I thought to myself, I might as well see if Fanatic wanted to fight, but he seems scared. So everybody comment on Fanatic's videos, tell him to match up with me in the ring. I think it would be a good time. I'm not actually that big. A lot of people, when they see me, they think I'm like 200 pounds. I'm literally like 165. I'm like maybe 5'8 on a good day. Like I'm not a big guy. Like, I know I look like it, but I really am not. But we got this next crawfish right here. I'll give you guys more details about it as I, oh, this guy's got some crazy color. But I'll give you guys more updates on that as I find out about him. We're gonna get this next guy added in there. Oh, so graceful. I think it would be a fun time though. Um, I definitely gotta get in shape. I'm nowhere near where I wanna be for something like that. I used to wrestle in high school, so MMA would be cool, but we gonna just buy, go squabble, duke it out. But we got the last crawfish in my hands right here. Boom, another beautiful, beautiful crawfish. We'll get him added into the tank right here. And so we got four crawfish from that dumpster. They're all hiding back there with the frog. Are you guys? Get him along real good. <laughs> They're all kind of just hanging out. Hey, move up. They're a little silly. Guys, please don't get crushed by the sponge filter. Oh my God. <laughs> They're gonna all get along great. And we also got this tiger shovel nose catfish from the pet store dumpster. So we're gonna get him added into my little monster fish tank. He looks pretty good. Um, hopefully him being an eater incentivizes the other catfish to start eating because they still don't eat consistently. These are all wild caught fish in this tank and you know, I keep offering them all sorts of food but they just refuse to eat it. So it's pretty annoying. This shovel nose though, however, is a lot bigger than the rest of them. So I'm hoping they get on, get along just fine. Oh, he's bugging. He's bugging. He's big bugging. He's humming in my hand. But we'll get him added into the tank right there. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at him go. So we got that third tiger shovel. I don't think he's a hybrid, actually. I think he might be a pure tiger shovel nose, which is awesome. So we got three shovel nose in this tank thrown out. As soon as I get that 300 gallon tank set up, we're probably going to be moving all the iridescent sharks, all the Paku, all the tiger shovel nose into that tank. And with all the equipment we found in that pet store dumpster, we're probably going to be testing it in another video because it's gonna take a little minute sorting through everything, like a fish room update, tank maintenance day. I got that new tank to set up. You guys don't know about it yet, but I got it really killer deal on a tank to set up. So we'll be doing all that probably in next video. But with that out of the way, we got all these plants right here. Now, I don't know what's in this box right here. It seems like there's some driftwood and some plants, some really nice pieces actually. So I'm gonna start throwing these around. These might actually help the fish all get more comfortable. Now, do they sink? Yes, they do. So I guess all there is left to do with a lot of the fish tanks in the fish room, guys, is get some substrate going, but we <laughs> got some big pieces of Anubias in here. So we're gonna put these two in here. I can't put anything in the tank below hand, but for the time being, I think we're just gonna get all these pieces of driftwood, however many there are, into top tank right here with all, actually wait, no, the crawfish will eat it too. Oh, 
They might eat the Anubius, they might not. Let's see how many pieces, oh wow. Let's see how many pieces are actually in this box. I don't know. So right here we got four more pieces out of this box. So I'm gonna find a different tank to put this in because I'm just not realizing a lot of the tanks I do have, these would not be safe. The fish in them would eat them. But we got some little tiny pieces as well as some bigger pieces from this box. A complete steal, I mean, <laughs> getting stuff like this for free is really crazy to me. I'm thinking honestly we'll probably throw all these pieces of driftwood into the Tiger Shovel Nose Catfish Grow-Out Tank just because they're not gonna eat the plants and it'll help them feel a little bit more safe. I'm not really gonna do much with them. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbi is trying to sabotage me. So I was gonna take some pieces out, but as soon as I started lifting this one up, he looks so betrayed. Like, look, he's just in disbelief that I would take this plant from him. And the other one is already hiding under it. So you know what? We'll see how they behave with these plants, but next video, guys, will definitely be a little tank maintenance, tank update, fish room update, do some builds, stuff of that nature. Set some more tanks up kind of video. We gotta get more lights in the fish room too, so we got a lot of stuff to do, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications if you wanna see more pet store dumpsters, you wanna see updates on the boxing event. I just stepped on my little power strip. And if you want to see updates on the fish room, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications if you did. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.